Hi my darlings, I'm sorry the audio is a little messed up in this video. I didn't know what went wrong with my mic and I didn't have time to redo the recording, but I'm sorry about that. And also, if you guys want some exclusive content and early access uploads, um, check out my Patreon. Anywho, I hope you enjoy the video. Sweetheart, darling, my one and only love. What do you think you're doing? No, no, sweetheart. Don't try to get out of bed just so you can go back to using the computer. You should have been asleep an hour ago. Whatever it is you want to do on there, you can do tomorrow. But as of right now, you need to stay in bed with me and get some sleep. If you try to get out of bed, I'm just gonna princess carry you back to the bed myself. And no, that's not an empty threat, because it wouldn't be the first time I've done it. You know I love you, darling. I'm only saying this for your own good. Now, do I have to pin you down so you stay in bed with me? Or are you going to be a good boy and lay back down where you can get rest you need? Good boy. I love it when you're so cooperative. I'm almost disappointed, though. I would have loved to pin you down. Well, there's always later. By the way, you don't mind if I hold you, do you? Well, then, don't mind if I do. <clears throat> now let me know if I'm holding you too tightly. Won't you, sweetheart? Good boy. You know how it is will of strength. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. I don't know what I'd do if I ever hurt you. I could never hurt you. I could hurt others for sure, especially if they try to hurt you or, or hit on you. But I could never live with myself if I hurt you. You're mine, darling. My mate, you're my good boy, and I have to take care of what's mine, don't I? I have to take such good care of you, don't I, sweetheart? I have to keep you safe. I'm always watching you all the time for that purpose. Morning, noon, evening, night. I'm always keeping an eye on you just to make sure you're safe. Well, I, I don't just watch you uh, to keep you safe. I also really enjoy looking at you. But that just means it's a good thing I enjoy. But that just means it's a good thing I enjoy my job of always watching you. Like a predator stalking your prey. Wait, no, actually, that's not a good way to put it. That makes it sound like I'm bad for you. And there's nothing bad about me watching my good boy, my darling, my sweetheart, my mate. I love you after all. I'm just making sure you aren't being tricked by any of those rotten, dirty girls. They butter you up with their pretty little lies, telling you how they do anything for you, but they won't. I'm the only one who'll do anything for you. I'm the only one who could starve for you, kill for you, or rob banks for you. Well, I actually make a lot of money, so I don't have to. But that's not the point. The point is, you're special to me. You're truly special to me. My special good boy. Like, for instance, when you scratch behind my ears, or when you flip my tail, if anyone other than you tried to do that to me, I would murder them. And then I would bring them back to life and murder them again. But it actually feels really good when you do it. Like, so damn good. Like, my mind goes numb, head empty, happy thoughts only. 
You're so good, sweetheart. I love you. Not just for the ear scratches. I mean, I really do love you. But I love you in a more general sense as well. And it's because I love you so much that I'm going to keep you. You're mine forever. All mine, only mine. I won't allow you to belong to anyone else. If you try to leave me for anyone else, that'd be a punishment to be had. Well, I can never punish you. Sure. If you try to leave me, I'd probably chain you or tie you to my bed. <laughs> but that something tells me you'd think of that more as a reward. But as for anyone you would try to leave me for, I'd certainly punish them. For leading my sweet, impressionable, good boy astray. And I don't mean that in a playful, haha. <laughs> I'm punishing them, but they actually like it, sort of way. No, I mean genuinely, truly hurting them. I mean clawing out their vocal. Well, you, you get the idea. No need to elaborate. I do some very hurtful things to them, hypothetically speaking, of course. But, realistically, I never need to do that, because I know you would never leave me, and never break my heart like that, because you're my sweet and precious beloved good boy. I can be so peaceful towards others, because you're such a well-behaved good boy for me. You're such a good boy that I don't need to slash anyone's tires, or leave needles in their food, or cut the brakes in their car. Well... Even though you're such a well-behaved good boy, I still have to worry about others sitting on you or giving you those eyes. You know the ones. But luckily for me, usually just the sight of me is enough to scare them off. And on the rare occasion where that fails, then growling at them really gets the job done. And even if it didn't, well, I'm not just all bark. Still, to think they turn tail and run so easily, it just goes to show they weren't serious about you. Not like me. I'm the most serious person in the world when it comes to my darling good boy. I love you. My entire life is a story of loving you. I'm so serious about you that I think about you every second, even when I'm asleep. I'm thinking about you right now, even. Well, I guess that's obvious, so when I'm talking to you. <laughs> but anyways, I really do love you so much, darling. I love your smile, your eyes, especially your eyelashes in particular. <laughs> Which I may or may not collect. <laughs> By the way... Have I mentioned recently that I love you? I might have say ten seconds ago or so. I can be a bit of an airhead sometimes when it comes to you, because you're such a sweet good boy. So I guess what I'm saying is, you're too sweet. It makes me lose focus sometimes. You're like candy I get drunk on. You're sweet, sugary, and syrupy. It makes me want to take a bite. Even though I won't, like I said, I could never hurt you. Even with a gun to my head, I could never hurt you. My love. I love you. You're the most precious thing in my life. If I could save you or save the world, I would save you. If I could have you or the world, I would have you. Well. I already have you, though. And to me, that's the same thing as having the world. You are mine. Completely and utterly mine. Mind, body, and soul. I know it's a very possessive thing to say, but I mean with the utmost respect. I'm not going to be a jerk about it. Having you is a responsibility on my part, after all. 
an indescribable joy to, obviously. It's my responsibility to take care of you, to keep you safe, fed, and happy, entertained, and loved. If you feel unhappy or safe, if you feel unloved, it's a shortcoming on my part, especially if you feel unloved. Every day when I wake up, the first thing I think of is how I can make you feel more love, sweetheart, because my darling good boy deserves the best. You deserve to feel loved, and I love you so much, and I want you to feel that. I need you to feel that. It's my duty to make you feel that. Do you feel loved? When I tell you I love you all the time? Do you feel loved when I watch you all the time, even in your sleep? Do you feel loved when I give you presents and hug you and kiss you and tell you much help? Do you feel loved when I give you presents and hug you and kiss you and tell you how much you mean to me and how I will never let anything keep us apart? I do all those things naturally, of course, it's instinctive, but I still hope you feel at least a part of the immense love I have for you. I love you, even if there's infinite realities where I exist. In all of them, I love you. I exist for you, and you exist for me. I belong to you, and you belong to me. I really like to emphasize that last part. You're mine, all mine, in the true sense of the word possible. Mine to cuddle, mine to watch, mine to love. Please say it for me. Be a good boy for me and tell me you're all mine. Good boy. You're such a good boy. How are you such a good boy? It's unbelievable. You're a miracle, my sweet darling boy. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But you know how you could be even better boy for me, darling? Could you tell me you're mine again? Good boy. That's what I need to hear more than anything. You're so sweet. How are you this sweet? You're gonna give me diabetes. Is that what you want, sweetheart? To give me diabetes? After all I've done for you. I've tasted us in your food to make sure it's not poisoned. Or scared off the squirrels that were staring at you because that's my job. After all that, you're gonna give your devoted wolf girl mate diabetes? Well, that's okay, I'll manage. But you have to make it up to me, sweetheart. And do you know how? By getting some sleep. Go on, I'll be here just admiring you. I'll sleep a bit after you do, alright darling? So just get some sleep. I love you, my sweet darling boy. <laughs>